Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to MLB The Show 19, New York Mets franchise. This is episode 34, so if you guys want to cut up, look for the playlist in my channel and leave any comments below. And here we are for this August, I can't believe it's August of my season already, August 4th game against the Pirates. Uh, we won last game and this is going to be the rubber match between Noah Syndergaard and Jameson Taylor. I hope I'm saying that right. And going to advance today and take a look at the standings again. We're still down one game because of that loss. And it's okay. We'll hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll win this game. Let's do some quick managing. And let's go for it. Love the 86 jerseys. Or 85. Okay. Now it's up. Let's see who needs a day off. Pete Alonzo needs a day off. Uh, let's put in Dominic Smith. Let's move people around. Porto. Let's move everybody up. Donnie Smith is kind of the guy that's struggling the most. So, let's just do that. Let's go for it. Okay. Quick first inning. Set, quick second inning. Jeez. No one's doing anything. And, let's go to soon. There you go. Oh, come on, guys. We really need this, guys. Come on. Ugh, pinch hit. Let's put in Alonzo. Hope he does something and. Nope. Wow. You're getting shut down offensively here. Come on. We have lost one nothing. Holy crap, that a solo home run. That was it. Jameson Taylor with a really good game. Eight innings pitch, five hits, nine strikeouts. Wow. Oh. So that puts us still a game back because Washington lost. Man, that stinks. All right. So next game, we'll be quick managing. It's going to be Michael Walker versus somebody from uh, Wee and Chen from the Marlins. And here we go. We're going to be in City Field. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Walker up. Lowry's in a bit of a cold spell, so I will put... Yeah, I'll give him a day off. Actually, I should give a few people a day off here. Second base here. No, second base. Crap. Oh, Rosario. Let's put Rosario in there. Left field. Let's put in Nemo. Boy. Oh, almost tired too. Crap. Ramos tired? Yeah, Ramos is tired. Frazier can play third base, so let's put in Larry there. Smith. Can't play left field, so let's put him there and let's move people around. All right, there you go. Some some life. There you go. Base is loaded. Damn it, Conforto. <sighs> there you go. Solo shot by Todd Frazier. Finally, some some offense. Good. Let's put in Cespedes. 
sé que tú quieres Muerto sin pena ver Sin estrés Pues Yo sé que tú quieres Sé que tú quieres conmigo Fraser, McNeil Okay, walks. There you go, base hit by Conforto, and it's gonna be two nothing. I like it. Change of put in Chad Green. Don't do this. All right, cool. Swing. Swing. Oops. Change. Uh, change. Let's put in my boy Diaz, who hasn't been doing too well in real life. The Mets win 2-0. There you go. That's what I needed. A little bounce back game. Some good pitching. And, huh. What do we got here? So now we are tied again. With the Nationals. Thank you, Marlins, for not being that good. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I'm trying to figure out what game I should play because I wanted to play the first and the third game of this Washington series. So... Probably play this game, sim this, sim this one, and then play these two. So I'm gonna have Dallas Keuchel versus Jose Urania in Miami, I think. I oh, know it's in uh, City Field. So I'll see you guys there. For baseball here this evening. A swing and a ground ball to third. Here you go. Gosh, we could time some more to throw that. Anyway, that's the first out of the game. So let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Marlins. And we got John Birdie followed by Miguel Rojas, Brian Anderson, Pedro Alvarez, Stalin Castro, Peter O'Brien, Gabby Guerrero, Brian Holiday, Jose Urena in the ninth spot. Ah, too many pitches and there's no outs. Gonna be a sacrifice. Be tagging. Third at the plate, and he's gonna be safe. It's gonna be one nothing here in the second inning with one out. Oh no! Second late. That's a three-run home run. That's a shot by Lowry, and it's going to be out of here. That is a solo shot by Jed Lowry. I think that's number 11 for the year. The apple goes up, and it's going to be 4 1 game. Low and 420 feet. As he touches home stick, look at our replay. Boom. Well hit ball. Center field. He has been tremendous for us, whether it's leading off or in the eighth spot. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Jose Arena. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. On the run is Nimmo. Oh no, come on, Nimmo. Nimmo. Runner going a second time. This is on the ground over to first. There you go. Hit and run play, and the Rosar moves to third base. That is a base hit by Conforto. There you go. I like that. Let's go. At the end of the day, it's all about the two-two line drive to center field. Oh, okay. There you go. Let's move everybody around. Conforto rounding third, throws home, and he's gonna be safe. That is the problems with this camera goal. I did not know that that was going to land over the defender's head. But that is a two-run double by Judd Lowry, man. He has been clutch. That is a shot by Cano. Do we have the lead? No, but it's going to be a tie game. It's going to be a... Uh... Oh, no, he's going to be out of here. Goes for it. That's an RBI single for Robbie Cano, and things are tied here in the fifth. There you go. It's a base hit. 
Rosario's gonna round. I mean, Gomez, and he's gonna be. Uh, Gomez is out. I guess I was a bit too greedy. Damn it. Ooh, that's a swing and a miss. Thank you. That's such a bad pitch. Ooh, got him with a slider. Let's go. Inning over. Ooh, and he got him with a knuckle curve. Inning over. Ooh, got him with an inside fastball. That throws Alvarez. Oof. That's a pitcher in the back of the head. He's going to be safe. Smith okay? <laughs> Pitch hit him in the back of the head. All right, well, there's that first and second one out. Rosario on third. Second. Come on, drop. He's going to be a right bases loaded situation here, guys. All right. Everyone's going. Oh my gosh, fuck out. Come on. That is Yoannis going to deep right field. It could be a home run. Oh my gosh. That's Ramos. Deep right center field. And it's off the wall. That's going to be a ground rule double for Wilson Ramos. And that is a. All right, there you go. Wilson Ramos gets the third base on a wild pitch. I think they need to walk them, to be honest. I would walk them. That's going to be the Mets winning. Oh my gosh. Finally. Wilson Ramos makes it home after a double and a wild pitch and a sacrifice by uh, Brandon Nimmo. Gives the Mets the win. Here in 15 innings. Wow. Great job by the bullpen to keep things together. They, they really surprised me. But, wow. <laughs> we wouldn't be without this guy over here, Jed Lowry, with three RBIs. Pretty sure Nimmo should get that because he did win the game. I thought we were in trouble early in the game when uh, it was 4-0. And with, uh, with, with all that stuff, we were able to chip away at the lead. And, and we win in 15, and wow. Wow, wow, wow. Justin Wilson with the win, holding it down with two strikeouts and being pitched. Uh, just an unbelievable effort by everybody on the team, especially the pitching. I'm, I'm a loss for words. <laughs> Great pitch game by by the bullpen. Now, check out the standings. And we are one game, one game over the Nationals. Oh yes, this is what I like. Uh, so we are gonna go for a series sweep here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this manage quick manage game. Then next episode, I'm gonna jump straight into this game. Uh, so let's go. It's gonna be Wheeler. I assume everybody's tired, except for the people that actually rested last game. But let's see, uh, P. Alonso, you deserve a day off. You didn't do anything last game. <laughs> uh, Ford was fresh. Cespedes, Dominic Smith, down. Ramos, 
All right, let's go for it. Team, wow. There you go. There you go. There you go. Basic load for Cespedes. Oh my gosh, to get into a double play. Come on, guys. There you go, finally a run scored. Another two runs scored, there you go. Tired, but damn it. <sighs> Could this be extra innings again? I really don't want to be extra innings again. Come on, can nope. Damn it. <sighs> the tour, let's go, man. There you go, walk off. Solo home run by Michael Conforto to send everybody home in the 10th inning. The Mets win 4-3. Oh my gosh. The next game we're going to have is going to be against the Nationals in a huge series. And we're still up one game in the... Uh, and the NL East standings. Let's take a look at everything here. Last ten games were eight and two. Uh, we're, we're a game up. Braves and Marlins. Jeez. Uh, anyway, uh, wild card. They got three way tie. Got Nationals, Pirates, and Reds. That's crazy. Um, oh my gosh. What? Two crazy two games for the Mets. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, that was just crazy to me because I didn't expect to come out of that game. I to, to win that game. Oh my gosh. I a little I, I lost my voice a little bit to tell you the truth. And that goes without saying I'm excited what's going on with this team. And I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to click that like button, leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day, take it easy, and peace.